if the client doesn't have a designer and they don't have an architect, then we're not the builder for them. And it doesn't matter if we're doing a small kitchen remodel or a large custom home. So one of our favorite terms in just business in general is the value proposition. And you think about that, it's a relationship industry, which we all understand. And there's a lot of other companies as we've networked, you know, everyone has their own process. They have their own mindset of how they're going to run their company. And a lot of the philosophy comes down to uh, some of these other videos where we've discussed, you know, the importance of that designer, builder, architect relationship. You know, the importance of when should a designer get integrated with the builder, with the um, architect and how does that collaboration work and even just other philosophies you know maybe it is the you know the AFT superwalk that we've discussed you know and a lot of the feedback we get is that some of the um, uh, builders that we network are you know they they say you know Brad it sounds great you know this is a great you know but we don't have the projects you have or we have you know a different client you know that doesn't understand that but what's really important to understand is that value proposition that you know, as you start thinking through that, there is value by aligning yourself with certain designers, certain architects, right? So that reciprocity, that business, you know, that collaboration can continue to grow your business. But even on the smaller scale, we have projects that are not always grand, right? I mean, our uh, philosophy has always been, we don't care the budget, we want to work for good people. It's a tough industry, so working for good people is absolutely key. So as you think about that, well, uh, we can still integrate our MO, right, our SOP, our, our operating procedures with every client. And really it comes down to philosophy. Our philosophy is a company that when we're sitting there, if the client doesn't have a designer and they don't have an architect, then we're not the builder for them. And it doesn't matter if we're doing a small kitchen remodel or a large custom home. It still comes down to that line of communication. And what's been very helpful as we've come to terms to say, we're not starting a project until we have the interior design spec book and the construction drawings and we're not starting a remodel till we have this information well that now puts an expectation for the client it puts an expectation for us and the team involved and makes it very collaborative and and when going back to the value proposition it's really important as well that we don't um you know cut our nose to spider face in in the sense that when you think about uh, you know, construction, we're all in business to make money, to have a, you know, to support our families, support our staff, you know, but at the same time, there, there's a nut to crack as a business, uh, you know, our, our, our week to week, our cash flow, our overhead, but there's also the opportunity to buy a proposition where maybe we take a job that's less uh, compensated, but it'll allow us more opportunity, maybe a relationship with that architect, a relationship with that designer, a relationship with that client, maybe in a certain community or HOA where we want our sign up to meet future clients. All these things are super important. And so think about that as you're uh, strategizing with your business that maybe you take a less fee, but the relationship, the experience and knowledge can expedite your business. And then once you um, you know, as you continue to grow as a business that you also have a protocol. So that way you can be consistent and direct with every client, every scope, every project.